It's been a month of big political announcements so far, and today another big one. Kentucky State Representative Attica Scott, who grew up in West Louisville, announced that she will challenge longtime Congressman, also Democrat John Yarmouth, for his third district seat in 2022. She did not offer any criticisms of the Yarmouth specific, specifically, only to say it's time to have a black representative in Congress. Gabrielle Harmon has more on the recent candidates with diverse backgrounds, announcing runs for office right here in Kentucky. Y'all use our power and voice in different ways. I'm going to use mine to serve the people who have often felt like they haven't been served. On Wednesday, Representative Attica Scott announced she will be running in the upcoming 2022 congressional race, challenging incumbent Democrat Congressman John Yarmouth. The reality is that long before the global pandemic of COVID-19, we had issues that were not being addressed. We need to have a representative that has a broad vision who can address many issues. Scott joins a list of diverse candidates running for office across the board in Kentucky in the upcoming election season. Here locally, several have announced their interest in the Louisville mayoral race, Activist Shamika Parrish Wright, Jefferson Town Mayor Bill Deeruff, businessman Craig Greenberg, and Pastor Tim Findley. Last week, Charles Booker announced he would be challenging incumbent Republican Rand Paul for his Senate seat, and now Representative Attica Scott against Representative John Yarmouth, who's held the position since 2007. She started off being on the local level here in the Louisville Metro Council, uh, and then she moved on and, and uh, uh, was elected to the uh, state uh, House of Representatives, uh, where she's been very outspoken. In fact, she pushed for Brianna's law uh, at the state level. Dr. Dewey Clayton is a political science professor at the University of Louisville. He says he's not surprised by Scott's announcement. He says because of last summer's protest here in Louisville and across the country, this upcoming election season will be different in the selection of candidates with more minorities joining in, especially black women. They are running and they are winning. They are winning mayoral races around the country. They're winning congressional uh, seats across the country. And there's a whole new sense of, of activism. Uh, and I, I think it's great for democracy to see this. As I said, we see it around the country. We are now seeing it here in Louisville. We did reach out to Representative Yarmouth for a response. His office did send us a statement saying, quote, Chairman Yarmouth isn't thinking about the 2022 campaign season right now. He just got the American Rescue Plan enacted. He's continuing to work closely with President Biden as his committee advances the White House 2022 budget proposal. It ends with, quote, there will be a time to discuss reelection, but right now he's completely focused on doing his job and continuing to deliver for Louisville. For WHS 11, I'm Gabrielle Harmon. Keep in mind, the Democratic primary election is set for May 17th. Attica Scott is not the first African-American woman to run for the 3rd District Congressional seat here in Louisville. 21 years ago, another Louisville woman who also served in the Kentucky House made a run for that job. Eleanor Jordan ran against Republican Ann Northup in 2000. She raised nearly $2 million and had endorsements from President Bill Clinton and many members of Congress. But Northup, who was the incumbent, already holding the third district seat at the time, won the race. But at the time, Jordan was Kentucky's first black candidate for Congress.